The Peak Scoliosis Bracing System is an unloader brace designed to provide pain relief for adult scoliosis patients. The brace is designed to be customized based on each patient's unique conditions and anatomies. The Peak Scoliosis Bracing System includes the four primary components, the belt, the universal strut assembly, the lateral panel, and the chest strut. The belt contains the pull tabs and the closure strap. The universal strut assembly includes a thoracic strut and pad, tension straps, lateral panel, iliac pad, and a trochanter strut and pad. The lateral panel also has an iliac pad. The chest strut includes the chest pad. The peak scoliosis bracing system acts as an unloader brace for the spine. In this configuration, the force is applied to the patient by the thoracic and trochanter pads on one side and the belt with or without the lateral pad on the other side. To apply, first determine which side of the patient should be supported. For this video, it will be the side with the lower shoulder. Place the universal strut assembly against the patient with the iliac pad just above the iliac crest. The thoracic pad should be approximately 2 inches beneath the patient's underarm to avoid discomfort when seated. To increase the height for this patient, use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that secure it. Position the thoracic pad as needed and reinstall the screws. To adjust the trochanter pad position, remove the lock screw, angle the trochanter strut to achieve a proper fit, and replace the lock screw. The pads should fit flush against the body. For certain anatomies, it may be necessary to bend or twist the struts using the edge of an appropriate surface. Before the belt is applied, ensure that the pull tabs are positioned close to the center of the back panel so that the brace can be fully extended. With the belt applied, place the strut assembly over the belt in the proper position. With chalk, create four marks as shown. Transfer the marks to the inside of the belt and use to position the strut assembly. Press down to secure. Attach the anterior tension strap as shown. Press down to secure. The posterior tension strap connects to the loop material on the tightening mechanism as shown. Do not tighten the straps at this time. Apply the lateral panel with the iliac pad to match the location on the opposite side. Press down to secure. Note that iliac pads can be repositioned on the lateral panels or placed directly on the belt as may be desired to accommodate patient comfort. Have the patient apply the brace. Ensure that the patient understands the importance of reapplying the brace in the same position each time. Have them inhale deeply and wrap the belt around as tight as possible. Press down firmly to secure. Before tightening, be sure both the top and bottom of the belt are snug. If needed, angle the ends of the brace to achieve a snug fit at both the top and the bottom. Have the patient tighten the brace by pulling the pull tabs away from the body. Over-tighten the brace, then loosen slightly to achieve a supportive but comfortable fit. Be aware that the right pull tab controls the upper compression and the left pull tab controls the lower. As the compression is tightened, the self-adjusting back panel contours automatically to the lumbar spine. Once the appropriate compression is obtained, place the pull tabs on the anterior panel and press down to secure. Remove any slack by tightening the anterior and posterior tension straps. If additional force applied by the thoracic pad is required, either tighten the tension straps further or you may bend the thoracic strut. 
The final step is to confirm that the brace is comfortable while seated. Check that the trochanter pad is not too low and that the thoracic pad is not uncomfortably high. To maintain effective, comfortable support while seated, it can be helpful to slightly loosen the upper portion of the brace by adjusting the right pull tab. Have the patient remove the brace by peeling up the pull tabs and placing them as close to the back panel as possible. Before removing, have them fully extend the brace so it is ready to go when they reapply it. Then, have them reapply the brace on their own to ensure that they are able to do it properly. If a chest pad is needed, determine which end of the universal chest strut the chest pad will be attached to. Use the male and female rivets to assemble the chest pad disc to the chest strut. Then add the foam and sleeve. Note that the chest pad pivots to accommodate varying patient anatomy. Unzip the thoracic pad sleeve to expose the two points where the chest strut will attach. Use the two screws provided to attach the chest strut. Once in place, zip the thoracic sleeve closed. Have the patient reapply the brace. The chest pad should land approximately one inch below the clavicle. If needed, the strut can be easily bent to achieve a perfect fit. The thoracic, trochanter, and chest pads have been designed to automatically adjust to the patient. For certain patients, twisting a strut may be required to achieve a perfect fit. If the patient finds the iliac pads to be uncomfortable, they can be removed entirely. For certain patients, it may be desirable to angle the thoracic pad by removing the lock screw, positioning the strut in the desired angle, and reinstalling the screw. For questions or further information about the Peak Scoliosis Bracing System, please call Aspen Medical Products at 800-295-2776 or visit us online at www.aspenmp.com.